Hey everybody, welcome back to GreatChowTV.com. This is Jason, and what we're doing today is we're making delicious individual beef wellingtons. So what beef wellington is, it's filet mignon that's been perfectly seasoned and then seared. It's smothered in a delicious mushroom and onion mixture with a little bit of Dijon. And then it's wrapped in puff pastry and baked in the oven to golden brown perfection, baby. Oh yeah, golden brown perfection. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so with Beef Wellington, there's a few different variations of it. This variation is mine. I keep it simple, basic, easy to follow, and super delicious. All recipes and directions can be found at greatchowtv.com. So I love one pot cooking and so does my subscriber base as well. So I'm going to be using the Instant Pot pressure cooker. Even though we're not going to be applying pressure, I'm still going to use it to cook in. But for everybody, so everybody can enjoy delicious beef wellington, I'm going to show you the steps on the stove top as well. And I'll be doing that in parallel. Okay, so this recipe is super easy to make. It's perfect for during the week, celebrations, holidays, special times, even those romantic times. You know what I'm talking about. Oh my God, when I saw you at the grocery store, I knew I had to approach you. I'm so glad I did. You're so beautiful. You're so smart. I love the way you think. You're so unique. My God, where do you see yourself in a year? Buying furniture? Me too. <gasps> the Beef Wellington's done. Let me go get it for us. So Beef Wellington has a little bit of ambiguity as to its origins, but it is credited as an English dish and could be most likely named after this guy, the first Duke of Wellington, Arthur Willesse. Arthur Willesse beat Napoleon at Waterloo right before Napoleon was sent into exile. Beef Wellington also has culinary roots in French cuisine. That's why we're here in beautiful Paris, France, where the Eiffel Tower towers and the French, well, they French. I was speaking with this young couple earlier and they said that they were going to go with the Beef Wellington. In French, that's filet de bouffe and croque, beef in pastry. It's going to be a lovely night here in Paris, France. I hope you enjoy too. Okay, so let's take a look at the delicious ingredient lineup. All right, we're going to first start with our main ingredient, filet mignon, which we're going to season up with kosher salt, cracked peppercorns, and Italian seasonings, which we get from our fresh peppercorn grinder and Italian grinder. We're going to saute our mushrooms and onions in light saute olive oil with some butter, some garlic, a splash of sherry, and then we'll season that up with some thyme and parsley. We'll put some Dijon on top of our filet and mushrooms and onions, wrap it in puff pastry and bake in the oven to golden brown perfection. Now it's time to season our meat. We have kosher salt. We'll sprinkle that on liberally on all sides. And then we have our cracked Italian grinder seasonings. Sprinkle that on. I love how we have all the dried Italian herbs and seasonings. Then we have our freshly cracked peppercorns from our peppercorn grinder. We have black green red peppercorns make it a little diverse and we're going to season this up all sides sprinkle liberally make everything nice and delicious for when we sear it up and right at this point we're going to put down a little saran wrap over our seasoned meat let that relax while we work on our mushrooms all right so what i have here are eight ounces of baby bella mushrooms that we're going to give a nice rough chop to. We're going to saute that with garlic and onions, a splash of sherry, herbs and spices. If you haven't noticed, I've been working on my knife skills. After we have a nice chop, we're going to put it in a bowl while we work on our onions. Alright, the onion that we're using is a yellow onion or a Spanish onion that we need to dice. I cut it from top to bottom and then I put these fine slices through it. I will cut across those fine slices to make the diced onion pieces that we need for our saute. What we do to one side, we do to the other. As you can see, it makes a finely diced onion. And we'll saute our onions with mushrooms, sherry butter, and herbs. Now that all of our food is prepped, it's time to begin the cooking process. We will turn Instant Pot on using the saute function. We will wait until the readout says hot. Then we will drizzle some light olive oil. This is a light olive oil for sauteing. 
what we do in the instant pot is what we do on the stove top so over a medium high flame we will drizzle our olive oil after our pan is hot and our olive oil is hot we begin my favorite process the searing process so we're going to sear our meat on each side for two minutes and then we will continue to flip the searing process causes a nice delicious crust to form it allows our herbs and seasonings to develop complex flavors Mmm, look at that. Listen to that beautiful sear. Our first two minutes is up, so we're going to do our first flip. We'll flip them around. Get each side seared up. Flip that color. That's what I'm talking about right there. Now that each side of our meat is seared, we'll remove our meat to an awaiting side plate. Those delicious bits at the bottom of the pot when we deglaze are going to be absolutely amazing. We go back to our pan and we remove the meat to an awaiting side plate. Look at that color. And let that meat relax for a little while. Using the same pan with the delicious leftover juices from the filet, we begin the saute process. You put down two tablespoons of butter and we incorporate that with the juicy delicious leftovers from the filet. Those delicious bits at the bottom of the pot are going to separate good cooking from absolutely amazing cooking. We put down two tablespoons of butter. Now we deglaze with a quarter cup of sherry. Look at that, we're gonna burn off the alcohol. The sherry and the butter smell absolutely amazing. Boom, we add another two tablespoons of butter. We scrape the pot, we allow the two tablespoons of butter to melt, and we deglaze a teaspoon of garlic, that's chopped garlic. And we'll let all that incorporate back to our pan. We've allowed that sherry to burn off. As you can see, when we scrape the bottom of our pot, we picked up all of those amazing flavors. Now we add our yellow onion, our diced Spanish onion. We pick up all of those delicious flavors. Same thing in the pan. Now it's time to add our eight ounces of chopped baby bella mushrooms. And we give everything a nice mix. A little salt, a little cracked pepper, a little thyme, a couple sprigs of thyme, fresh thyme, some parsley. Give everything a nice mix. Let it saute for about three to five minutes and you have a nice delicious saute of mushrooms and onions. Now that the mushrooms and onions are done, we cut the heat to the stove and we turn the Instant Pot off. Now it's time to assemble our beef wellington. First we start with our puff pastry, which can be found in your freezer aisle. We roll that out, we put down a layer of mushrooms and onions, and then we stack a whole filet on top of that. And then I put a teaspoon of Dijon mustard up on top. You could either spoon it on or you could brush it all over the filet if you like. You could even use English mustard. Then we will put another scoop of mushrooms and onions on top, just like so. I would like to note that before assembly that the puff pastry is thoroughly defrosted. All right, everybody, now it's time to wrap up our beef wellington. We've got our duck cell. Our duxel, filet, Dijon mustard, mushrooms and onions. So now we're stretching out our puff pastry. All right, we bring one side, bring it over, fold it. We take the other side, fold that over as well. Okay, now it doesn't have to be perfect because after it's baked, it's going to be golden brown and beautiful. Okay, nice tight. We're going to grab our knife and we're going to cut a little of our excess away. 
Okay. Look at that. Beautiful. What we do to one side, we do to the other side. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, then we, we're going to fold our excess right under. Once again, what we do to one side, we do to the other side. Look at that beautiful beef wellington. Give it a spank because it's so nice. Now it's time to make a simple egg wash that's going to give our beef wellington that golden brown delicious look. Consisting of one egg, a tablespoon of water. We're going to beat the egg and water together. Set that to the side. I have a baking pan that I wrapped in tin foil. I will drizzle some olive oil. I will set the beef wellingtons on top of the tin foil. And then I will give it a generous coating of that egg wash. That puff pastry is a little thirsty, so you can be generous with the amount of egg wash. And we will coat the second beef wellington generously with that egg wash. And then we will move it over to the third beef wellington. It's amazing when they come out of the oven how golden brown and delicious they look. In a preheated 450 degree oven, we're going to bake it at 450 for 5 minutes. We're going to reduce the temperature to 425 to cook for an additional 20. For a rare or medium rare beef wellington that is soft as butter, we will cook until the internal temperature reads 135 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit and then we will remove the beef wellington from the oven. We will let it rest for 5 minutes before slicing. Ultimately, if you want as soft as butter, you want the internal temperature to read about 145, then slice. I love that golden brown flaky puff pastry. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Now let's take a look. Okay, now it's time for the reveal. We're going to slice into our beef wellington and split it in half. See what it looks like. Mmm, looks perfect. Look at that. Look at that. That is perfectly rare filet mignon. That's a perfectly executed beef wellington. Well done, everybody. Thank you for joining me for a delicious individual beef wellingtons. Here's a little something fun and special for you. I did complete this project at 3.30 in the morning. And it was absolutely delicious. Uh. It's just so juicy.